So I can't get all the way under it, but I can push back on the chain link here. And if your dog was to dig underneath there, it could get underneath and kind of push that chain link back up and escape from underneath your fence. Well, we're gonna show you just how to put the bottom rail on to keep your dog from being able to do that, from pushing that chain link up and crawling through. So we're gonna go ahead and take off the hog rings, which is right there and right there. We're gonna take that out. We're gonna leave the brace band in place, but we're gonna go ahead and take the tension wire off. So we're gonna cut it. Pull the wire out. And in that same brace band, we're gonna install an inch and five eighths rail end. Now this rail end is a pressed steel rail end. And the pipe that I'm installing is 0.065. We are going to do exactly the same thing over here. Now we have the tension wire all nice and free. And now we're gonna go ahead and install the other rail end. Now how to do it with the line post. We have an inch and seven eighths by inch and five eighths line rail clamp. These are gonna go in the same place as the tension wire. It's just gonna replace it. It's gonna make the bottom of the fence a lot more rigid so that nothing can dig out. Or if something does dig out, it has to dig a lot further down. So we're gonna leave it like that. And we're not gonna measure. We're just gonna go ahead and stick the pipe into that rail end. So now we're gonna go ahead and transfer a line marking right back behind the bolt to right here. That's gonna be our cut line. We're gonna put that one there and we're gonna do exactly the same to this one. Insert it all the way into that rail end, push it to that bolt and transfer that line. All right, now that we got that installed, we're gonna set our rail ends first. We're gonna go ahead and set each side at the terminal first. Same rule applies as to the top rail. We're gonna set right to the middle of that diamond at the very bottom. We wanna keep this bottom rail as close to the ground as possible because we're trying to keep critters from digging out. Animals. So we're gonna lift up our bottom rail at our line rail clamp. We're gonna set it in the same position. Nice and solid, but it's not done yet because we got to tie it to the fence. So the bottom rail that we installed is inch and five eighths. We're going to use inch and five eighths ties. The ones I have in my hand are nine gauge. We're going to use those to tie the chain link to that bottom rail. Same rules as the top rail, every nine. Now, if you are worried that you need more, you can shorten the distance up as much as you possibly want. Standard is no more than nine further apart. Now with these awesome ties, it's a nine gauge tie tool. Make sure and see the links below for the ties and for the nine gauge tie tool. You need the tie tool in order to tie the ties. After you're done, just knock them back. That way your dog or if you're trying to contain a vicious man-eating cat, it doesn't hurt itself. That's just one other way to make the bottom of your chain link fence more secure to contain your loved ones, your animals. I hope you're not containing your loved ones. A good setting to see something like this is dog kennels. If you're on top of concrete and you're trying to make things a lot more secure, that's another great option to get rid of the tension wire and to install a bottom rail. If you guys want to see some more information on building residential grade chain link fence, make sure and see this video right here. If you guys want to see how to install plate mounted chain link that would work as dog cages on existing concrete, make sure and see this video right here. Stand with SWI. We are Wyoming's Fence Company and we hope you have a good dang day.